Welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to be making baked chicken mole enchiladas. So yesterday or the day before, the days are kind of blended together, <laughs> I posted a picture of lunch dinner that I made using leftover chicken mole sauce um, and chicken and I made baked chicken mole enchiladas and I posted the picture and people were asking for the recipe so I or the recipe video so I thought I should probably film that so I'm going to do an easier version my mole sauce I made it from scratch which I do have a recipe video for that check in the description by the way guys when you watch my videos always check the description because I will put links and other info especially like ingredients and things like that so check it out um, but today I'm gonna use store-bought mole sauce and show you how I put these enchiladas together by the way I have merch, for those of you that didn't know. You might actually see the icons under this video. Um, I'm actually wearing one of my t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> I also have mugs, Simply Mama Cooks, and Coffee, Cafe, and Copi, which is representative of my blended family, Mexican-American, and my husband's Korean, so I thought that was just a little cute nod to that. <laughs> Anyways, so I do have merch. Check it out if you want. Uh, go over to Teespring and check out the Simply Mama Cooks store. I have other things there as well. Uh, so, and also follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. Anyways, back to the baked chicken mole enchiladas. Let me show you how I put it together. So to get started with these chicken mole enchiladas, I am going to bake a little over a pound. This is close to a pound and a half of chicken breast. And I've already added some uh, oil on top and I'm just going to season it with some seasoned salt, onion powder, lemon powder, and some garlic powder. Oops, and that's that. Season your chicken breast how you like, salt, pepper, any rub that you like. You could also use a rotisserie chicken. Ultimately, you're going to need at least a pound of cooked chicken. So I'm going to bake this in a preheated oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for somewhere between 15 to 20 minutes. Let it rest, and then I'm going to shred it and chop it up. Okay, so now I'm going to start on my mole sauce. Turn that on. And by the way, this is actually warm already. So my chicken is done. I'm going to just let it rest and hang out, and then I'm going to chop it up and shred it. And you'll see that later once it's chopped. I'm going to be using Doña Maria brand mole sauce. This is actually, in my opinion, a starter, <laughs> a base. So let's see if I can get this out. I typically have luck to get it out in one clump. There we go. All right. And I know some of you commented last time I used this. You guys used to wash these and use, and use these as glasses because we had a whole set of these <laughs> growing up. Now I'm going to add about three and a half cups of store-bought chicken broth. I'm going to start with three and a half cups, but I'm probably going to end up using four. And I'm also going to use one tablet of Mexican chocolate. I like to break. Yeah, this is not breaking, but I'm going to put it in there anyways. It'll dissolve. It'll start melting down and dissolving. But this is one tablet of Mexican chocolate right in. And I'm also going to add two tablespoons of peanut butter. And this is like sunflower butter that I'm actually using, but peanut butter is what I grew up having. Um, so about two tablespoons. And a lot of like when you add the chocolate and peanut butter, it's really up to your taste. Um, I'm not going to add all of that. It's really, it's definitely up to you and what you like. Some people, I have some people that prefer mole sauce to be super spicy and less sweet. And I have some that really want to add extra chocolate and peanut butter. They just like that chocolatey sweet mole sauce. So things like that are to your preference. So what I'm going to do now is just give this a mix and let it dissolve, combine, mix, and eventually it'll become a thickened sauce. So here we are. It's starting to bubble and melt down. I can already tell I'm going to need the rest of that um, chicken broth so I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the chicken broth in all four cups four cups of chicken broth went into this mole sauce I like to add a little bit of chicken bouillon powder so I'm adding a teaspoon of 
nor chicken bouillon powder. And that's it. I'm going to give it a mix. I'll taste it again towards the end, but for the most part, once this melts down and gets thick, I am going to reserve one cup of this sauce to mix it with my chicken, and the rest is going to go for the enchiladas. Okay, so my sauce is done. At this point, you'll want to give it a taste. If you want things to be sweeter, saltier, I don't know, add the, the seasonings and flavors that you like. But this is, is pretty much where, where I like it to be. So at this point, I am going to turn off the heat. And I'm going to let this just hang out and cool slightly. I mean, it'll probably still be warm by the time I'm ready to use it. But just let it hang out. And that's done. Okay, so mole sauce is ready. And it made, it actually made a little over four cups. I just put four cups in here and the rest, I'm just going to freeze it. Um, but, and I want to show you, see how it's thickened? If you want it a little bit runnier, then you can add a little more chicken broth to it. But this is fine for me. Now, my corn tortillas, I'm going to be using 14. And I passed these through hot oil to soften them and make them easier to roll without breaking or cracking. You can do that in the microwave. I used a griddle with oil and just passed them through the hot oil for about 10 seconds and then right onto my baking sheet. Here I have my chicken shredded and chopped and you'll want to make sure at least to have one pound of cooked chicken. I actually had two chicken breasts that were a little over a pound but by the time they cook and you shred it, it's really not a pound so I'm going to mix in a little extra cheese to make the filling but definitely you'll want to work with a pound of cooked chicken. So here I have some shredded cheese. Now if you're working with a pound to a pound and a half of cooked chicken, you'll want to add about four ounces of shredded cheese to the chicken to make the filling. I'm gonna add maybe six and I have extra cheese for the top because I'm kind of, you know, making up for the fact that I don't quite have a pound of cooked chicken. And I will be putting like ingredients and you know the measurements in the description below, so check that out. So I'm gonna give that a mix and that is the filling along with maybe three quarters of a cup to a cup of mole sauce. I'm just gonna give it all a mix. I'm gonna pour in a little bit of my mole sauce. Maybe a half, well, I said a cup earlier, but maybe like a half cup to three quarters of a cup. I just want to flavor the filling with a little bit of that mole. And that's it. And that's going to be my filling for the enchiladas. Okay, so I'm going to be using a 9 by 13 baking dish. And what I'm going to do is add just some of my mole sauce to the bottom of the baking dish. And I'm just going to spread it as I roll out the, uh, the enchiladas. So take your warmed corn tortilla, grab some of your filling, put it right on there. That one's actually kind of, I think I overdid it with the filling. So now you're just gonna do a tight little roll and as you roll it, kind of pull back a little bit gently. Don't rip it, but that'll help tighten the roll. And right there, and just place it. And I'm gonna continue the process until I have 14 enchiladas. And in the past, in some of my enchilada recipe videos, some of you have asked if you can use flour tortillas, and hey, it's it's your pan of enchiladas if that's what you like, but we grew up having enchiladas with flour, I mean with uh, corn tortillas. So, but it definitely is up to what, you know, you prefer. So I'm going to continue this process, and I'll be back when they're all done. Okay, so these are done. So what I like to do is, uh, you know what, I'll put the sauce first, then the onions and cheese. So I'm going to pour the sauce over. And actually, I think around three cups of your mole sauce would probably do good for this recipe. But like I stated earlier, if you like things to be saucy and just swimming in that delicious mole sauce, then go for it. Add it all. It's up to you, really. So now I'm gonna add my cheese on top. And for the shredded cheese, again, these are things that are up to you. If you like super cheesy enchiladas, you know, somewhere between 14 ounces to 16 ounces of shredded cheese, I typically stay within the 12 ounce to 14 ounce range of shredded cheese. 
but it's it's definitely you know it's to your preference and I'm just using like this Colby Jack or I think Mexican blend it's like cheddar cheese and Monterey Jack cheese mix so now I'm going in with my fresh onion which is optional for my people that don't like onion don't be grossed out I love onions <laughs> but I understand if a raw onion on your enchiladas is just too much for you you don't have to do that but we like onions and garlic in my house so and that's it I'm gonna cover this okay so this is covered with aluminum foil and I'm going to bake this in a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for somewhere between like 30 to 35 minutes covered now if you want things to get bubbly and crusty on top remove it for the last 10 to 15 minutes of, of bake time to get that cheesy crust on top but I just like to bake it covered and have everything melty and gooey so it's up to you but going into a preheated oven at 375 Okay, so my enchiladas are done, and I'm going to let them set here for about five minutes before, you know, serving a plate. Okay, so I tried to avoid a disaster getting it out of the pan. These are really hot, but I want to cut into one and just, you know show you guys I mean this is just again comfort food 101 if you like chicken mole try these enchiladas they're so good I hope you give this recipe a try I hope you like it and thanks for watching